Morris Tabret was murdered. They tell me that one of these days they'll try operating again to see if they can't possibly put me right. But I know they're lying. They pretend they can do something in order to give me hope, and I pretend to believe them because it's the easiest thing to do. I know I'm here for life, Stella. The Sacred Flame is a fantastic story. It's a murder mystery and a love story, um, all rolled into one with loads of twists and turns along the way and it constantly surprises you. Partway through the play, Morris Tabret suddenly dies, which is a huge, huge shock for everyone. And basically the play then centres around the aftermath of that because Nurse Whalen believes that it's murder. When he dies, we, it starts to make us ask questions about is it a kind of euthanasia? Is it suicide? Assisted suicide? Um, or is it something darker? Has, has somebody had taken some steps towards taking Morris's life? There's a whole set of moral questions in this play that I feel aren't even asked now. And when they are asked, still make us uncomfortable still make us question ourselves and our, our beliefs about love and about life and about death and the principles around death, which are always going to be high stakes. It's always fascinating watching another family sort out or don't sort out problems that you will recognise very much. She seems a very nice woman, that nurse. Yes, she's extremely competent. But I must say, she's a little tactless. It never seems to occur to her that Morris wants some time alone with his wife. Mm. Poor lamb, he has so little. He likes to be able to sit. Every actor that came in when we were auditioning said, oh, you know, I sat down and I thought, so I sat more when I read the first few pages and I thought, oh, I know where this is going. And then they were gripped and then they were shocked. You're moved, you laugh. And it's just a really beautiful story, really honest story. Painful though the subject matter is, it's also very funny. He's our Ibsen, he's our Chekhov. This guy could really, really write, he could really make theatre and it's um, a pleasure to be rediscovering it on a personal level and I'd, I'd love an audience to come and be part of that journey of rediscovery. <laughs>